Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls. In the last episode, we dealt with Quilag. And, uh, sorry, I'm not going to do the whole thing in song, don't worry. Um, and we're never in the Demon Ruins, uh, which is this sort of, frankly, messed up place. Um, blah, 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 whatever that is. Um, these guys doesn't, don't seem to want to, like, they're not into magic urgency to attack so let's explore oh there's a fuck out over there let's explore that shall we as always guys I do hope you're enjoying Dark Souls still I know I am I know I'm glad I'd be out of Blight Town my good golly gosh it was um Pretty infuriating, I'm not going to lie, but uh, to be honest, it didn't give me anywhere near as much grief as I was anticipating. So, praise the sun. Need charmer. Okay. Huh. Okay, it's just a new area. Sweet. There's no enemies about, though, which is odd. So the Demon Ruins is interesting because this is kind of like below Blight Town even. I mean, look at it. It's just a mess. There's lava everywhere. we got, uh, you know, just lots of... Lots of crap happening. Oh, what are you? Okay... He's not attacking though, and we can target him, but he's not attacking. Maybe we need to attack him first. Not that I'm going to, but let's look at him. Okay. So he's like a big, like, sort of humanoid spider thing. I mean, this is kind of like Quilug and the other one. But it's like it's gone wrong. I mean, not that they're right, but, you know, this is just messed up. Alright, let's keep exploring. Okay, I've got an item here. Be wary of boss. That thing's gonna attack me the second I pick that up, right? Yeah, here we go. He's not happy. Alright. Wow! I mean, okay, cool, I guess. So we got to the boss pretty much straight away by the looks of things. Um, fun. How are we going to deal with him? I don't know, because he is big. Does he activate as soon as we walk through the door this time, I wonder? It would seem so. Okay, let's get a proper look at this guy. This is the Ceaseless Discharge. Oh, he's coming round. Okay. Let's see how far he comes, because I might be able to pick him off with a... I don't know. He is big. I don't even know how I'd get to him. Oh, he puts his thing down when he does that. Fine, okay. I mean, not fine, because it bloody hurts, but...
I mean, this can't be it. Okay. Now, believe it or not, there's actually a very easy way to deal with him. Um, and I wanted to see if I could just sort of do it, but obviously I can't. So, what I'm going to do is actually, before he runs round, I'm going to um, I'm going to see if I can. Uh, I don't know how kind they left my um, soul outside the door. I'm actually going to go back to where the item is. Um, you'll see why. Um, I'm just hoping I can do it as it's intended, if that makes sense. But we do have to deal with him because uh, he's a problem. Let's just say that. I do like the music, though. The music's cool. Top my health up. I'm not even sure if he can get us in there. I wonder, just very quickly, I wonder if that. Yeah, it's fire resistant. Cool. Awesome. Not the best time to change one's uh, attire, but. Loads less damage. Come on, big boy. I'm not actually sure if he still does it. Because he's just going to stand there. No, it's not going to work. Basically, the idea is he follows you all the way to here and you can actually knock him off because uh, he has to jump over and he's over like a chasm. So, uh, never mind. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to have another go. I don't think it's actually going to trigger because the um, I've already picked up the, uh, the item. So, I think the best thing I can do is try and get behind those rocks where he can't attack and then maybe just bait it, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to huff it up here. I'm not too fussed about that soul. Need to get up to that doorway. Ideally, before he attacks. Okay. Wicked. Okay. I'm basically just gonna, like, sort of bait it. Get it to slam its uh, hand down, and then I'm just gonna attack it as best I can. attack down. Oh, that's bull. Yeah, okay. Interesting. 
Okay, I'm back here. It seems to be working. I need to basically bait an attack. Tentacle goes down. I'm over here, dum dum. There we go. That's the wind up. Yeah, his tentacle goes over there, weirdly, but. Not gonna lie, not the most interesting boss fight in the world. But, uh. We uh, admitted the cool way, so we gotta do it this way, sadly. But, uh. We're doing decent work, so... No, over here. Come on. Oi! get about a thousand damage on him at a time, so stop walking away. Come here. There's the wind-up. Again, not the prettiest way to deal with this boss, but there's the wind-up again. That's the problem. If he hits you just once, it's enough. not the way I wanted to do that, but never mind. Victory achieved either way. And now that we dealt with the Caesar's Discharge, the lava will start to actually recede. Which is good, that's what we wanted. There you go. Because the lava was coming out of him. Now, the reason behind that is because if we look at this warned by the witch Quilana of Azalith, mother of pyromancy and daughter of chaos she wore this gold hand black hood before even the age of fire and it offers strong resistance versus fire poisoning and other perils okay now the reason behind let's change that out actually I want to change it back to the wondrous stuff the reason behind that is it's heavily believed that that was actually the um, the sun. I think um, it's fair to say that that was a male um, character. That's why his mutation was probably different. Um, and I'm guessing that because we've picked up uh, his mum's clothes, he's not overly happy about it, which is understandable. Um, <laughs> but now that he's gone, we can move on. Uh, which is good. So let's head back to that bonfire because we could do with spending that 20 grand and getting some more Estus flasks. Because this is a fairly mm, tricky-ish area. Okay, it's not the way I wanted to deal with that boss, but it doesn't matter. It is them making that noise, I think, so uh, it's a bit weird. Cool, let's head back to this bonfire. Ah, 
couldn't see it. He was, his egg sack was in the way. Okay, we can get two. I think I want to go with endurance again. Just because I think we need it on the basis that... I, was, I thought we were human for some reason. I was going to say, there's no way we should be human on the basis that... Uh, We got smacked about quite a bit there. I need to find a way back to Firelink Shrine at some point. I don't really want to go back through Bleat Dune if I can help it. Okay, we can actually head the whole way down now. Oh, oh, they're not pleasant. Are they? They're Taurus demons. Okay. Well, luckily, we're not going that way. We're going this way. Thank God, huh? Oh. Oh, that's a Capra. That's a Capra. And he's still a threat. Yeah, very much so a threat. Cool! Cool! Cool. What I'm actually doing is I'm going to go and explore that um, waterway uh, up in Blighttown, I think. Uh, I know I've got to go past these rock guys, but I've got the gold hem stuff back on because obviously it's um, resistant to poison. So I'm hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping that I can run past these guys again and see what's actually there because I am suspecting and I genuinely cannot remember if this is right I am suspecting that uh, Ooh, time that sharp, nice Suspecting slash hoping that this is actually going to lead out in some fashion. I'm hoping those guys aren't going to follow me. But yeah, that's the hope. Uh, but I want to see where it leads anyway, because I think the demon ruins, that uh, Capra demon seemed a lot stronger than the one I fought. Oh, okay. Than the one I fought in um, the Undead Burg. Or the Undead Parish. I guess this is going to flip over at some point. Yeah. Just need to watch me poison as well, because obviously... Oh, we got flies again. I'm already poisoned, so there's not really a great deal you uh, have to threaten me with. Apart from a poke to the eye. Yeah, now I'm hoping this is going to lead to a way out. There seems to be a lot of vertical movement upwards. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, God, no. No, not today. Goodbye. Poison is bad enough. I don't need you toxicing me as well. Oh, yeah, they do stack, by the way, because they are different ailments. So they do stack, and it is... I mean, you may as well just throw yourself off a cliff at that point, I think. Okay, I'm not going to explore around too much, because, like I said, I don't want to get killed. 
I can always come back and explore this bit, bit later. Oh, however, I will take a treasure chest. Key to the New Londo Ruins. Huh. Okay. Something for later, perhaps? Oh, great. Come on then, big boy. Please don't. Something I like about great shields, they're <laughs> uh, great swords even. Another one, okay. Oh, it's two. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about two. Fact. I might just. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I'm going to go all the way back to the sodden demon ruins now for that. Right, I finally got back here. Bloody hell. Took me forever. Please let there be no more of those. Please. That would be marvellous. Oh, are we heading out? We're heading out. Fine. I think this is actually going to... Valley of Drakes. gate there. Sort of an ominous soldier. Oh! That's what this is for, huh? Now where are we? Okay, let's head up here. I guess. Oh, it's an elevator. And that's coming down, so that's going to head up, I think. I hope. Please take me somewhere nice. Oh, you're kidding. Please let it be so. Yes, finally. All right, we're back. Thank God for that. Oh. Huh? Black eye orb. Where's the firekeeper gone? Huh. You ring the second bell? I did. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This huh? is no laughing matter, I tell you. Oh, I can't light it. Huh. Ah, Laurentius is here. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, yeah. I, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancy in a great swamp, so I can use the magic to be bit. Well, you didn't manage without me, sunshine. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'd be pleased to help you. Ah, oh, unless you find the magic unsavory. 
I don't find them unsavory yeah, now. I'm sure that you know they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the great swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. All right, steady on. All right, pyromancy is like magic but different. So actually. Bustion is actually a pretty decent one, so let's buy that. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. No, you dead. Oh, well, I think I actually bought that. Let's try that again, shall oh, we? Well, oh. as well. Yeah. Oh, fireball. Excellent. Cool, we've got some pyromancy. We'll sort that out in a minute. Oh! What the hell are you? I can't target lock it, so I'm guessing it's friendly? Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I was waking I am you up. The primordial serpent, King Seeker Frapped, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? I mean, I guess. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Oh, you can feed him stuff. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Okay. Farewell, chosen. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head up to the blacksmith because uh, we need to talk ooh peeps hmm? what have we here you look awfully raggedy times are grim the least you can do is look sharp don't you dare meet my lady like that you might scare her off for good hmm? okay. you are undead as well and we've no time to fraternize I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Yeah, but you just Why sat there. so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. You're right, bloody group of pompous idiots. Unbelievable. Right, let's go to the blacksmith. We have a few things to talk to him about. And then I want to start... Actually, before we get to Sen's Fortress, I want to start a new area. Um, but that will be probably in the next episode now, because this has been quite... Uh, quite a long one and quite a frustrating one. Uh, trying to get back out of bloody Blight Town. But I'll see what the time's like by the time we get where we need to go. Yeah, remember here? <laughs> it's been a while. It's just nice to have some fresh air. Um, we, should, we should be one hitting these guys by now. Yeah. Easily. Lovely. Wonderful. Okay, let's go see the blacksmith. And see what we can do, because... I like the Black Knight Straight Sword, and I want to uh, see if I can upgrade it if possible. I still can't believe we actually got it, to be completely honest. That was complete luck. Because that's the way to Sen's Fortress. That's the way to Sen's Fortress. However, before we do that, I want to go somewhere else. And to do that, we also need to be in this area, so... Let's consume some souls, if we've got any. Uh, 
actually, I don't think we actually read the Soul of Quilag, did we? Soul of Quilag, the once daughter of the Witch of Azalith, now a Chaos Demon. Special beings have special souls, and Quilag's soul contains all aspects of chaos. Use it to acquire a huge amount of souls or create a unique weapon. So we won't use it. We'll use the large soul in the name of the soldier. That should boost us up. Any more? No. Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? So this is the large ember that we found before. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Cool. So, dude, anything? Nothing needs repairing urgently. Oh, we didn't learn a gesture from him. Hurrah! Hurrah! Now we can keep upgrading the claymore as well, but I'll think. I don't think about that. Be careful out there. Now the next place we're going to be going to is actually down there into a place called Deep Root Garden. However. That's going to be for the next episode. This is actually going to be the end of this episode. I'm sorry we haven't done, like, loads. But, uh, like I said, I'm feeling a little bit frustrated about how long it took to get out of Blight Town. And to be honest, uh, I need to take a break. So I'm going to head off and do that. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for putting up with my um, somewhat lackluster performance in this episode. But we'll get back to it, I promise, in the next episode. And uh, have a great rest of your day. And enjoy... Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.